struck a balance between procedural fluency and conceptual understanding in these standards. The standards expect students to achieve procedural fluency, particularly fluency with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. That's important for later work in algebra. They need to reach a stage of comfort with those operations where they're not filling their brains with that while they're trying to do higher order algebraic procedures. On the other hand, we don't want kids to be mindlessly using rote procedures that they don't understand. That gets you into trouble later too. I've seen kids come to college who are somehow, although they're very good at math in some sense, they don't have any idea of what they're doing. And so the standards build from, for example, in addition and subtraction, studying those properties in grade two, looking at lots of different ways of thinking about them, understanding how they work, allowing kids to have different strategies. But by the time they get to grade four, students are expected to be fluent in the standard algorithm for addition and subtraction. And there's a similar build up from multiplication in grade three to the fluency standard in grade five. These things are all important and they all work together in the standards. Fluency in computation is an example. In each grade there are one or two required fluencies. These mark the endpoints of long and careful trajectories of developing understanding and application. And these fluencies remain important long after the grades in which they appear as skills that students can build on and combine to solve problems.